Good morning, patrons. I'm so glad you're here so we can continue with bail painting. And the first thing I want to show you are the plates. And remember how I told you you can keep the paint in between because it's reconstitutable. But if you don't clean out your plates in between, you're going to end up with a dried layer of paint, which isn't bad except when you reconstitute it, you could get flecks of color on your brush, especially the blue. And that's going to create a streak across your painting. So if you've been a little bit lazy like me, you can now clean your plate just by simply taking it to the sink and rinsing it out or you could just take a wet rag like this and wipe it out. It's especially important for the blue because that's the one that tends to fleck the most. You won't have that trouble with yellow, but you might with blue and red. So I highly recommend at the end of your painting session, just dump out whatever paint is in there and then just wipe your plate out. The first thing remember that you want to do is just pour a little clean water into the saucer of the plate. And if you're doing your veil painting over a series of days, you might even just leave the water in the plate. Make sure that your brush is clean when you get started and then let's just do some veils. And what we're trying to do here is build up the color very slowly with these thin layers. And you see this part that I did earlier. So I'm just going to repeat over that. And you see I made some drips here. That's fine, in fact, good. Because what I'm going to do is show you how to dry off your brush and then just pick up the drips with your brush. Just simply dry the brush and wick it away. Be careful if it does create a little bit of a light surface going down, then you'll have to fill that later. But let's continue with our yellow. I just brightened here, and now I think I'm going to brighten over here too. And I'm going to allow this to spread out in a little bit different manner every time. And now let's come down to the blue. Again, letting some blue dribble into the plate. So I see some sweeps here and I'm going to start here and allow a new shape to arise. and then I'll need to dry it. Okay, patrons, you might notice that I've been sitting down on a, a stool, and that is true. You can do that if you're not feeling like standing. But ideally, you would like to stand in front of your veil painting and, and have your full chest and body exposed to the color. Why? Because, of course, color is very healing and also because if you're standing, you have a little bit of a different presence with your art than when you're sitting. But sitting is perfectly acceptable. And there are a lot of very dogmatic people out there who feel like sitting is not allowed when you're painting. And I would just have to challenge that and say, why not?
sometimes you can turn it and see if you can get some image or something pops out to you. And at this point, you can start to imagine what you might see and look at the gestures. So here we see a gesture. I could see this being a person like waving their arms up and over here there would be another individual standing, maybe a smaller one looking, and I'm not sure what the scene might be. But let's look at it in another direction too. Let's look at it what would be upside down from the way I painted it. This looks clearly like a landscape to me. I could see this becoming mountains and distant hills with light back here. And we have all kinds of area up here for hill and sky. But we could also look at it this way. And just see what it looks like. And you'll also notice, is it balanced when I look at it? And I can, I can see that I have some very vertical gestures that go throughout the composition. I also have some rounded movements which help to break the background or what's appearing as coming in front. So this is a nice way for me to paint on it. And then I could look at it this way, which is my original way. And that's probably the way I would recommend most of you keep until you make a decision. At one point you might say, oh, I really do want to paint on it this way. But don't keep flipping it around and around. Just make a decision and be comfortable working through that. Today I'm going to show you what you really should do at the end of your veil painting session if you're not coming back in a day or so. Just wipe out the plate so it doesn't get that nasty little flecks of color. And as I said, you won't really have to do that on the yellow plate because yellow doesn't tend to make those, those problems at all.